Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Marvel Crisis Protocol Battle Report. And today, I am joined once again by Alex. He is joining me for a couple of videos here. Hello. And um, he's bringing out some Steve 3 Avengers uh, to go up against my Web Warriors. I haven't played Web Warriors in a little bit, so this should be fun. Um, for the Avengers side here, though, who is coming along with Mr. Steve 3? Mr. Steve 3 is bringing along some famous Avengers, Wolverine and Carol 2. Yep. Uh, Wolverine is just, I feel like he's going to get some fun usage out of that leadership. He's quite good there. And I'm really hoping that Carol will be able to keep up with some of these very, very fast people. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. And speaking of keeping up with very fast people, we have a very fast lady from outer space. We got Gamora. Yep. Uh, ready to fly across the board and take advantage of, I think, a really cool interaction with his leadership. Yep, yep. No, her uh, her ability is really, really good under Steve 3, so she should hopefully get a lot of value for you. What about tactics cards here? We've got Avengers Assemble, because moving is great. Turns out that card is cracked. Exceptional <laughs> Healing, because dying is not great. Patch Up, because dying is still not great. Brace for Impact, see the last two. Yep. And Battle Plan, because I was anticipating all webbed up and not being slowed sounds really good. That That is, that is pretty good. Uh, over on my side, I have the Web Warriors. They're being led by Miles Morales. We have the triple three threat squad. So we have Miles, Spectacular Spider-Man, and Gwen. And then we also have a couple four threats tagging along here. We have Spider-Woman and Agent Venom. And then into my tactics cards, you were right in the money with the all webbed up there. We also have Escort to Safety, Patch Up, Spider Tracker, and it's hiding back there, but we also brought our own Brace for Impact. So we're going to go ahead and get deployed, and we will get right into it. Alrighty, and we are deployed. On the left side here, I have three of the spider people here. I got Agent Venom, Miles, and Spectacular Spider-Man facing off against Logan and Captain America. Down the middle, you have Gamora, and I have nothing because I have long movers, so I don't need to do that. And then on the right side, I have Gwen and Spider-Woman facing off against Captain Marvel. You won the roll to go first, so where would you like to start, sir? Uh, yeah, we're going to kick things off with with our friend, Mr. Rogers. Alrighty. He's going to move over to this queue. Yep. Spend a power and yoink it. And then he is going to walk himself just a little bit further to cover behind this dumpster cool. and on cool. this other point. That makes sense. Alrighty, and that's gonna be it for Mr. Steve. That's it. Alrighty. We're gonna go ahead and have Spider-Woman go next. Um, might be a little risky because this isn't really a safe grab, but you left me in the middle, so I have to take advantage of that. So we're going to go ahead and just move, and we're going to move again, get ourselves within range one of that back point here, a little bit towards this side, and um, pay power, pick that on up, and Spider-Woman is chilling with a uh, cube, and that's going to be her. Carol is going to have a slightly less exciting activation. She's going to walk herself on up over here. Yep. She's going to pay a power and pick up this cube. Yep. And then eh, she can just hang out, right? Hanging out's like a thing that people do. Yeah. Yeah, she's just going to move herself up a little bit further. Just to be as far forward as she can. As far forward as she can, behind some cover, yeah. hanging out. All right, and that's going to be Carol. Yep. We're going to go with Gwen. She doesn't actually have line of sight to do any of our usual shenanigans. So she's just going to go ahead. She's going to move. Just to about here. Um, doesn't really matter exactly where because we have a second move action. We're going to pick up a core. Uh, or not core. Um, cube. And then um, we're going to measure range 4. Just make sure we're within on Spider-Woman. We are, but we're going to move as far back to relative safety as we can without being off of this formula here. Okay. And in range 2, save Spider-Woman's life if it comes up. And that's going to be it for Gwen. All right. So we're going to go with Gamora. We have a bit of a pipe dream. But try what are pipe dreams and try and if not back dreams? Points. And we are going to zip on over here. And you will definitely succeed at that. Aha! Hello, Gwen. Alrighty. Hello, Gwanda. You have a friend. Yes. We would prefer we didn't, though. <laughs> um, alrighty. And I'm assuming that's it for Gamora? That's it for Gamora. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead and go with Spectacular Spider-Man next. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to go ahead and he's going to move himself over to about here. He's going to pay one to pick up his core. And then his second action will also be a move. 
Uh, we're not doing anything too, too fancy with him. We're actually gonna kind of keep him back a little bit since he's about to take some damage for our core. <laughs> so he's just gonna chill back here just a little bit and uh, enjoy the lovely power he's gonna be getting for next round. And that's gonna be Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah. For my last activation, we have a very predictable yet boring move where yep. where uh, our friend Logan, not the Wolverine, just the regular Wolverine, yeah, <laughs> is going to yeah, not the Logan, not the Logan, the Wolverine, yeah, is going to walk up onto that uh, point and hang out behind the cover. That makes sense to me. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of violence here because we might as well. We have so many people scoring our points, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna move Agent Venom over this truck here because he does have that lovely wall crawler. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna take a range four shot at Mr. Wolverine. So unfortunately, there's nowhere good to put the camera for this one. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just gonna be able to see Wolverine as he gets <laughs> blasted um, by, I believe it's just a five dice physical attack, but if we gain one power, uh, that's then we can swing and up, so. And we get two wilds. I am blocking two. But you are going to bleed because I, it's wilds. All right. So, yeah, not the one we wanted to swing, but honestly, that's fine because we already have people contesting our points and yep. we've put a mild annoyance on Logan. So, that's useful, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is going to be it for Mr. Agent Venom. And then I think it's all me, right? Yep. So, we're just going to go with Miles next. He's not doing anything too exciting, he's just going to move. He's going to move again. He's going to hug this building relatively close, um, but that's going to be it for him. So that is going to be the round. Um, so I am scoring only one Infinity Formula, but three cubes, giving me a total of four. You will be scoring the same, uh, but it's two formulas and two cubes. So mm -hmm. four to four with your prio. Yeah. All right, we're going to kick things off with Gamora. She's going to be doing a six die God Slayer attack into uh, into Gwen. Gwen. I've got three three dice for this, so we'll see how it goes. And of course, my leadership for a reroll. All right. So uh, we're off to a really good start. So far. I'm blocking one before my reroll, but your modifies are first. Yes. So I'm going to use Steve's leadership. So she's going to spend the power to make a wild, and then I'm going to use Deadliest Woman in the Galaxy to turn a. Uh, hit or another die into a hit because yep. of the wild. So now I need the reroll to succeed, and it does not. So Gwen is just going to take four damage and go right down. Fantastic. And she'll drop a cube for you. I'm going to gain four power, and I'm going to spend one of it to pick up that cube. Yep. Uh, then, because that was only one action, she's going to spend two power for an assassin's leap. Yep. Jump over that away. Jump over this way. Definitely in range two of me there. Yes, you do get to count your blanks, but uh, I can only attack you in range two. Yep. So. I'm going to have four dice for this count and blanks. I've still got six. Uh, there's a crit in there. Not bad. Two so far. Oh, oh. Maybe in the box. Two, two and three because of the deadliest one. Three. All right. So good talk. Good talk. All righty. And that's going to be it for Gamora, I assume? That's it for Gamora. All right. Could have been better, but could have been much, much worse. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and go with Mr. Miles here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to pay two for a web swing. All right. But really importantly, we're not trying to go too, too close uh, to anything. We really just want to get perfect range two on Mr. Steve here. So we're just going to web swing right about here. We're just trying to deny you that cover, really. Um, and of course make sure we can see you. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw six dice physical at you and yeah, right. we'll see what we got. Steve is gonna be spending two power on perfect block, so he's gonna add two extra die. Yep, so we're about to throw six dice. Um, I'm getting two criticals, we'll see what those go into. I'm getting one criticals. Uh, we got the wild, we got four. I got one. So All right, so you'll take three. three. I'll gain three. I also get to throw you small. So we're gonna throw you into that car so you can eat one more. Unfortunate. Uh, and then our second action would be a good old move back. All right. And we're just going to go back to the back end of the formula this time, just make it a little harder for you to come back to us. And that's going to be Miles. All right, Captain Marvel's up next. Yeah, Captain Marvel's up next. And before she even does anything, we're going to be playing a card. It's cool. going to be Avengers Assemble. That makes sense. And we're going to be assembling with the whole Avengers. So not Gamora. Not Gamora, unfortunately. <laughs> 
Alrighty. So the whole Avengers are going to assemble. Alright, so Wolverine is coming in a little closer. Yep. Steve is going to be getting himself back on his point. Back on his point. Nice, nice. And, and Carol is going to be walking up. Now the important thing here is I don't maybe don't want to use the whole advance, but it turns outside out I can. Outside of range two. I can be outside of range two. Uh yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So the Avengers have assembled. Yes, sir. And Captain Marvel is going to be doing a six die sonic boom into uh, Spider Woman. Spider -Woman. Spider yep. Uh, so this is energy, I believe. This is physical. Oh, this is the physical. Okay. Yeah, it's one more die, and it's got a shorter range, but also I too have punch. one more die. Um, three, four, four currently. Uh, I'm blocking one, maybe two, but I do have a reroll and two with a reroll. Uh -oh. Three. I mean, yeah, you would have done Yeah, technically I would have done this first, but I get to change a die to another one by spending a power. So you end up with five, which means I will take two. You will take two. You'll also be getting uh, the concussive trigger and losing a power. Cool, cool. We're going to do that again. Cool. I'm going to have four dice again. Mm -hmm. That's uh, pretty good. Four with a crit? Yeah. Four. Not quite the five of last time, but I'm not blocking as well either. I need the reroll to see. And it does. I take two out of this, which okay. leaves me alive on one. Uh, I did get the concussive again, so you will lose. So I only gain one effectively? Yeah. Cool, cool. Alrighty. And that's pretty good for Captain Marvel. Yeah, not a bad turn for her at all. Yeah. Alrighty, now I got some decisions to make. We're going to go ahead and go with Spider-Woman next, mm -hmm. because uh, she's in a little bit of a danger zone. So she's going to pay two power to place herself range two, not flying, but gliding. So she's just going to place herself, actually we might as well put ourselves right up to Carol here. Okay. Um, just so that way we can have Marsh Hardis next round if it comes up. Mm -hmm. um, then we're going to go for a five dice bioelectric strike on Gamora. Okay. And yeah, I think I think this is the, the play here. So five dice by electric onto Gamora and we'll mm -hmm. see what happens. Uh, we're getting four with a crit. Five. She's blocking one, taking four. four. I will gain four power for that, gladly. Yeah. That leaves her how low? Uh she has two left. Okay. Yeah. I also got a wild in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and give her shock. That is bad. I don't like that. Oh actually no, sorry. I'm gonna give her stun before damage is dealt. Oh, before damage is done? Yeah. Is that instead of? Uh, yeah, so I get to pick sh uh, Poison, Shock, or Stun, but it's always before damage is dealt. So okay. in this case, so I think Stun. Only one. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, instead of the Shock, yeah, it was Stun. Now, now I'm really tempted just to try and finish her off. Because um, Spider-Woman's dying anyways this round to the uh, core. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think I might as well try to deny you the point if I can. Um, so yeah, we're just going to pay, we'll do three power, so no matter what we're making, you drop the point. She's on two health. Gamora has two health remaining. Yeah, so we'll do the spender, so it's going to be seven dice energy, and you'll drop your objective no matter what happens. Okay. And we're getting a really good roll. Five with two crits. With my crit, I block one, so I well, think she's taking the two. Um, she'll drop a core, which I will spend... Do I spend one to pick it up, or do I interrogate? It really doesn't make a difference, so spending one to pick it up is better. Yeah. Um, so we'll spend one, pick up that core, and... Oh, actually... I could leave it for someone else to pick up. No. No, we'll, we'll pick it up for now. Okay. And, um, yeah, solid... No, we're leaving it for someone else. I'm indecisive, but we're <laughs> sticking with it. All right. Um, so, because we're going to keep our power, we can interrogate if we want to. But we're just going to kind of put it down here, um, just so that way I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket with Spider-Woman here. And uh, yeah, solid turn for Spider-Woman. Mm -hmm. We're going to go with Cap. Yep. Cap's going to be spending two power for a charge. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't ignore line of sight on his uh, hit. But he can use that move action as a climb to just yep. get on top. And he's going to be throwing a shield at our friend... Spider-Man. Alrighty. Uh, which one? Spider-Man. Miles? No, Spider-Man. The spectacular Spectacular Spider-Man. Spider 
All right, I'm gonna have three dice with a couple rerolls here. All so. right. So I've got five. Yep. Uh, that's three. Mm-hmm. I'm blocking two. I can reroll a skull because of my thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm blocking three. Okay. So you will take no damage, but I did get the trigger for the bounce. Yep. So we're gonna bounce it into Spider Man. <laughs> Miles this time. <laughs> All righty. Uh, this time for two. I'm blocking three, so that is uh, going to be a full block. Unfortunate. Steve, in his infinite wisdom as the leader <laughs> of the Avengers, is going to Run walk on. away. Yep. Bravely ran away. Oh, that makes sense here. Alrighty, and that's going to be it for Mr. Rogers. That's it for Mr. Rogers. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go with Agent Venom here. And we're going to start out with just a Quintar Firepower into Mr. Wolverine here. So okay. this is just another 5 dice physical, and um, as before, just kind of hoping we can get at least one damage on here. Wolverine's got four. Uh, we're getting three with a crit this time. I got three with a crit. Well then, I'm just three, so you're In good. The box, just three. Unfortunate, but we'll try it again. Um, right. So yeah, just another 5 dice builder and see what we get. Um, that's better, four with a crit. Uh, two, no crit. Just four, so we'll deal two damage. I will gain two. two. And then, now I have to choose whether I'm web swinging or throwing you. We're going to go ahead and throw, I think, is the better option here. So we're just going to pay three mm-hmm. to throw Wolverine. I believe it's just small. Um, so we can't throw you into anything meaningful. We're just going to get you away. But well, I just assembled the Avengers to get there. Exactly. <laughs> um, and that's going to send him behind the building there. And that will be it for Agent Venom, because he doesn't quite have the power to do the other things he wants to do here. So that's going to be him. All right, Wolverine's up. Wolverine's up. He's going to be spending two power to be the best at what he does. He's going to be moving medium. And just being in two. Uh, that looks out on Miles. You've got some space between all the tools there. Oh, shoot, you're right. Okay, well, instead he's going to be the best at what he does into Agent Venom. Yep. Unfortunate. But he's the best at what he does. So he is. This he is. could go very well. Because he's the best at what he does, the wilds on this five die adamantium slash are going to count as two. And they're also piercing and making me bleed. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That's, uh, yeah, that's going to be three wilds after you do Steve's thing. Uh, Walk and one. Yeah. We're going to so be spending a power on Steve's leadership, make that a wild. That's seven hits seven with hits a pierce. With a pierce? Nothing he can do about that. He's going to go down. Okay. How much did I actually do? Six. Okay. So I'm going to gain six power. Good talk, Wolverine. Yep. Even with a reroll, that was going to take him down. Um, so, yeah. Because he wasn't in range two of uh, Miles. Miles, but he's definitely within range three. Yep. So he's going to be doing a Berserker Barrage. It's a seven die physical attack. Miles gonna have three dice. Uh, oh boy. Oh uh, five with two crits. Seven. seven. Well, we're gonna reroll these two. Uh, we're gonna reroll this one. Um, that's gonna also take down Miles. Five damage to Miles. Okay, uh, before damage is dealt, I place within one of you. Yep. So I'm just going to backstop myself a little bit and be on this point. Yep. Uh, if it deals damage, I don't get to throw you because you're already down. Yes. But I did take you down, so that's good. Um, that's all for Wolverine, you know. That's, that's it, eh? That's all he could do, you know, just two people. Alrighty. He's going to Healing Factor 2 and Bleed, so he's effectively just going to take off one damage. Sure. Um, alrighty, and then it is... Like Spidey's turn. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go with Spectacular Spider-Man, of course, and we're just going to start trying to deal with Logan here. So we're going to do our... I think we want to start with Impact Webbing, because if we get that wild... Uh, no, we'll do we'll do Swing and Strike. It's more dice. We're going to throw five dice at you and right. see what happens. I've got four. I'm getting one with a gainer. I got one. So I just gained one. Um, and then... This time we will. Uh, at this point, I think I just did a five dice again. Okay. So uh, two with a crit. Blocking two. Not getting the wild on them anyway, so good thing I'm not going for the thing. No damage. I gain one. Okay. Um, and then we're just gonna pay three mm-hmm. to throw Logan. Yep. And we're gonna throw him 
at Agent Venom because Agent Venom doesn't care. All right, and Wolverine's going to take one damage. Yep. And uh, that's going to be the round. So yeah. violent round. Very. Um, Spider Woman's going to score me one point. Um, over here, Spectacular Spider Man is going to score me two medium. I'm scoring a total of three this round, mm -hmm. up to seven. I will be scoring one on Captain Marvel and yes. two from Captain America. So three to three into mm -hmm. the next round with your prior still. Additionally, Captain America is going to be taking a damage from that cube and flipping. Oh, um, sorry, I'm actually going to get one more because I'm going to interrogate the Spider-Woman. Oh, yes. Because Spider-Woman is also flipping to a cube. Mm -hmm. um, so I will grab one more point from interrogate, but then um, I will be... Carol's up first. What's she up to? Carol's up first, and because she has a whole boatload of power, she's going to straight up go binary. Yes, sir. She's going to place herself within one and transform, and she's also going to be picking this up. Yep. Spending the power to do so. Because, boy howdy, do we like holding cubes. Yeah, she's got two now. She's got two. Alrighty. She's going to be spending zero whole power for I'm just getting, or for ready or not, which is going to be a move followed by an action. Yep. Or attack action, sorry. So she's going to move herself way, way Coming over to this side? Yeah. Um, in response to that move action, mm -hmm. I might be doing a spider tracker here. Yep. Because your attack is only range three, mm -hmm. which means... Uh, actually, let's just make sure I'm... Within three of spider yeah. woman still? Just in case, or in case you can get out. Well, uh, in that case, I'm definitely going to do that. Because Miles is out, so you can't hit him. So I do think it's worth doing Spider Tracker. Mm -hmm. um, the real question is, am I doing Spider Tracker on Spider Woman or Age of Venom? Mm -hmm. um, it's two power, whichever one decides to do it. And it's a small advance. I think Spider Woman has a better chance to survive this. So I'm gonna do it on Agent Venom. Okay. And he's just going to back up out of that range three to about here. At least they faded out the card. Yep. So we're going to be doing that uh, Warbird into uh, uh, Spider -Woman. Woman. Yes, sir. So it's going to be an eight die energy attack. Alrighty. Uh, Spider Woman's going to have three dice for this. And yeah. Uh, three so far. Three currently. I'm blocking three. Uh, all right. They do have the trigger for throw and explosive. So we're going to be getting to do both at least. Yep, so the explosive won't do anything. Well, I, I guess no, the order I can do the depends. throw first, so we're going to throw you over here. Yep. And then the explosive will do one damage to Gwen. Yep, because... and I will be placing within range of you. Yes, within two of me. So we're going to go right here. Cool, Making cool. any lifesaver plays incredibly awkward. Yep. And she is going to be doing... Uh, yeah, she's got the power to do it. She's going to be spending one for a binary blast. Yes, sir. This is going to be a six die energy into uh, Spider Woman. She's going to have three power or three dice rather. Only one. Then we're good. Uh, how much help? Oh, she has not taken. She had, she didn't take any damage. Yeah, that did not go great. Yeah, that was a lackluster Carol turn. Well, for her last trick before she transforms, she's going to. Spend two. She's going to. Oh, I didn't place myself close enough to the bodega. Um. Yeah, you did. Oh, I did. Sweet. We're throwing that bodega straight at Spider Gwen. At Gwen, eh? Yep. I think Gwen might just eat it. It's potentially four damage, so it could kill her. Um. Yeah, Gwen will burn Brace just because I think keeping her alive is important. Mm -hmm. Um. Alrighty, and then it is my turn. Yeah, not as cool of a binary turn as I was hoping, but I did burn two cards. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go ahead and probably go with Spider-Woman, but first we're going to play All Webbed Up from Gwen, because mm -hmm. that's going to hit Gamora and Captain Marvel, and it's going to put slow on both of them. Alrighty. That's costing me three off of Gwen. And then uh, we're going to go with Spider-Woman, and she's going to make a now seven dice energy attack into Gamora. Okay. Gamora is going to be throwing three defense die. Okay. And not that's what we four. wanted to see. That's that. just two, three. Three. Not what we wanted at all. Okay. Well, shoot. Um, well, we did get a wild, mm -hmm. so we're going to put shock on you. Okay. Just 
to lessen your output back into us. But because we didn't even gain one power, we don't have our spender online to put into Carol. I see. I think our next attack actually goes into Carol then. Okay. And it's just going to be another seven dice energy. Okay. Which obviously is her favorite, but we're rolling good this time. We're getting three crits and a hit. I'm blocking She's only blocking one. one. And so, I didn't get any no wilds for enhanced energy resorption. So we're actually getting uh, six. So you're going to take five, and I think she just That's drops. Down. Yeah. I will gain five for that. I will pay two to pick up both of her cubes. Uh, so she does still gain a pow extra power from you call that a punch? Uh, no, because she's no. dazed, and that's okay. after the effect. Jinkies. But yeah, she drops both cubes. Uh, yeah, so I spent two already. I'll pick those both up, and then I'm going to spend two more to not fly, but glide, because you have a slowed Gamora, so she's going to actually have a kind of a hard time getting over to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to stay on the infinity formula, but we're just going to go to the other side of it mm -hmm. and make it as awkward as possible for Gamora to come in and deal with Spider-Woman. That went from being a really bad activation to a really good one really fast, so yeah. we'll take it. And that's going to be Spider-Woman. All right, Wolverine's going to be spending a whole bunch of the power he's built up. Yep. He's going to be spending two on the best in what he does, and he's going to be spending three on Berserker Barrage. So he's going to move and then do this attack, Yep. but he's going to be placing at the end of it anyways, but he's doing it into uh, our good pal... Uh, Spider-Man. Miles? Spider-Man. <laughs> right, Miles. Miles um, Morales, the, the Spider-Man. Yeah, so if I wanted to escort here, I wouldn't be able to get out of range because it's a range 3, right? Yes. So unfortunately, there's no no path for that, so it is just going to be Miles' regular defense. I've got yep. three dice with some rerolls. Oh, oh no. I'll take it. Uh, we're okay. All right, that is very unfortunate. Uh, that, that helps make up for the, the stuff he pulled last turn. Yeah. He's still got an action left. It's going to be a adamantium slash into into the other Spider-Man, I think. Spectacular? Yeah, into Spectacular. Alrighty. I will have three dice with... Okay. That's better. Oh boy, yeah. Four, four five, six. Alright, we're going to reroll everything because we have a Spidey Sense How plus leadership. How much health does he have? Uh, three. He has three left? I don't think it matters. Yeah, because I do have a pierce in there. Yep. So you're going to do the three you need, and he's going to drop a core. Okay, so I'm going to gain three. I'm going to spend one of it to pick up a core. Yep. Uh, I believe that's all he can do. That's it. That's all. There isn't any more. Uh, he's going to healing factor and bleed. Yep, so, so he's he just will going be to remaining on one damage. He should also be on that point after the place. Right, because he would place. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Alrighty, and I'm going to turn my attention back over here, because I don't think Cap's very much of a pressing threat at the moment, so I'm going to go with Gwen first. Alright, Gwen is going to start us out with a move action. Mm -hmm. She's just going to move to be within one of this cube over here. Mm -hmm. Then, she's going to pay power, pick up that cube, and she's going to make just her basic uh, four dice punch into you, but I'm going to get a free long move after this. Okay. So, oh, before I do that, sorry, um, we're going to pay two, we're going to pull you. That's kind of an important part of this process. We're going to pull you back this way. Just get you as far away from Spider-Woman as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and keep those conditions. <laughs> and then we will do them, our four dice punch into you. And, uh, yeah. Four has we... three die. Um, I'm going to do six. I'm blocking one and Gamora takes five and doesn't die. Well, I gain five and I get a free long move. What? Um, <laughs> sure. So then we're going to use that long move. We have wall crawlers, so we can go kind of wherever we want. Mm -hmm. We're going to jump on top of this truck. And then we're going to pay two more power because apparently we hit like a truck <laughs> to pull Logan off of that point. But he just got there. Yeah, but I don't like him there. <laughs> we're going to throw him into the truck there. Um, okay. Not actually a throw, but... Uh, oh. And Gwen is chilling, having done the best four dice attack I've ever made and ever will make. <laughs> um, you have Steve left, sir. Yeah. No, I have Gamora as well. Right. Yeah, she's not just dead. Yeah. She's she has on a one. ton of power and would like to not be dead. Uh, so I think we go with Gamora. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's Gamora up to? Gamora's going to be spending two power for an assassin's leap. Yep. So she's going to be. Coming in towards Miss Marvel, or Captain Marvel, rather. 
Yep. Formerly Miss Marvel, now Formerly Captain. Miss Marvel. She got a promotion. I'm so proud of her. Yep. Uh, and we are just in range three. So despite being shocked, uh, we're going to continue living in this fantastical world we live in. Yep. Spend four power on Cosmic Assassin. So this will be five die physical. With a pierce. With a pierce. And I am going to have four dice on this, but you did manage to pull that range three, so I won't have a uh, one. One? That's and it. Pierce, though. And I got nothing. So I do get to use Deadliest Woman. I don't get to use Steve's leadership, so it's going to be two damage. Uh, you could Deadliest Woman and then pay one for Steve, so it's You're three. right! So I'll do that. Yeah. So and I take three. three. And I'll uh, get three. Yeah, I don't get anything else off of this, but she did do some damage. Yeah. I'm proud of her. Not bad. All right, I guess it's up to me. Yeah. I think we're just going to have Miles go next. Mm hmm because Miles is going to start out by paying three to do a Venom Blast on, um... Oh, I just realized. Hmm? When Gwen was attacking, um, Gamora, she should have had two extra dice. Oh, shoot. Too late now. Um, but Gamora would probably be dead. <laughs> well, in your defense, that wasn't a pretty average six oh, die no, attack. Oh, no, it was an amazing <laughs> roll. Like, I wouldn't have expected that. That was a really it. good six die attack you made. But, um, anyways, uh, we're going to have Miles do his normal seven dice, because I have no way of putting a slow on Mr. Uh, Logan here. Mm -hmm. But seven dice energy into Logan, and you're, you're going to drop play. your objective after this, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not. Uh, we're going to get three. Blocking one. So Here's you'll take two. I won't gain anything, but I will be losing a power to pick up your objective. How dare you. <laughs> so you this. Kindly. Then I'm going to pay two power uh, to do a web swing. And we're actually going to run away a little bit with this one. Mm -hmm. um, not so far away that we're not playing the game anymore, but um, far enough away that after we hopefully get that wild trigger, you will not be able to reach me. Um, so we're going to go there, and we're going to send our six dice kick out at Mr. Logan. Okay, so we've got four die. Yeah. And we're getting just two. <laughs> Blocking none. Well, we do two. two. Uh, we'll gain two for that, but we didn't get the wild, so we're not going to get to throw you away. Um, sad Miles noises, kind of. Um, <laughs> Only a little bit. How low do we have him? He has two left. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for Miles. He's content with that. Okay. Alrighty, what is Mr. Rogers up to here? Mr. Rogers is not a fighty man. He's very friendly in this neighborhood. He is going to be doing a couple of move actions so that he will wind up over here. He's going to pick up this cube. Yep. For, that is Wolverine. That is on Wolverine. <laughs> Listen, all right. Wolverine works so hard to get his. He deserves one. Oh, um, clearly not. Yeah. Uh, right. and so then Steve's second action, because that would have just been one move. That would have been one move action. It's probably better to move back, as sad as it is. Relative safety. To relative safety. No, it, no. You you have to move to get me anyways. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you have to move to get me anyways. I currently have cover. You either move or web sling, and if you do either one, you're just going to get to me. It doesn't matter what I do. Is it true? So he's just going to hang out. Cool. All right. We're going to go with Agent Venom first. Mm -hmm. Or next. Last. Last. Words. We're going to take two. We're going to web sling. Um, we're going to go on top of the building here. We're going to reach pretty much the corner of it here. Mm -hmm. Whoops. And we're going to make it impossible to get a good camera angle here. <laughs> but... Then we're just going to go ahead and start throwing some dice. So we're going to do our grenade uh, attack on him. So this is going to cost me one power. Okay. But it's going to let you on fire no matter what happens. And that's that's good. Steve's going to be spending two power for perfect block. Yep. So adding two so extra die. And he's going to have a bunch of dice. But, uh, uh, we're rolling pretty good. Three with two crits. Uh, block in four currently because I'm counting blanks. Four. We're only getting four, so you're on fire, but that's it. Okay. Um, which, yeah, that's still worth doing. Then our second action is just going to be a move. We're going to go tie up your back point here. My back point. And then what we're going to do is... Interesting. We're actually going to go do it from this side. And we're going to pay three power mm -hmm. to throw you small. And I think we can... Yeah, we can ding the Batmobile with that. Yep. So we're just going to plink you into this Batmobile here. You'll take one damage for that. Mm -hmm. And Agent Venom will steal your back point, which means I believe we go to scoring. So I am scoring 
four cubes as well as that infinity formula and this infinity formula. I'm scoring you six. Scoring me six points. And then I'm going to pay for interrogate with Spider Woman to mm -hmm. make it seven, which is going to bring me up to a whopping 15. Um, meanwhile, on your end, Steve will score you one point, bringing you to eight. So you have a lot of stuff you got to get done this turn, but you will have prio, and yep. we'll see how it goes. Uh, so also during the cleanup phase, after uh, receiving the uh, power and damage from the cubes, Spider Woman's actually going to take herself out. So you can go ahead and drop two cores if you'd like so. Cool. They're going to hang out next to Carol. Makes sense. Uh, on the side where she's currently standing. Yep. Because I would like them to be as far away from the rest of your team as physically possible. That's probably fair. Um, she also yeah. loses the slow because she's flipped over to her injured side. This is also true, but Gamora, thank you, does, does not. not. So she is on one health, limping her way back over. Yep. Um, anyways, I'm going to continue powering up my dudes. Wolverine's up first for you. He's, he's low on health, so that he's makes sense. He's low on health. He needs to have that healing factor, do some work today, and he's got a lot of power, and he loves to spend it. So he, like last turn, he's going to be spending a total of five for the best at what I do in the Berserker Barrage. Yep. So he's going to get a move action with kind of over to here. Yeah, so the, the point behind this, we talked about this off uh, off camera, but if I decide to do some escort of safety or webline things, I can't pull Gwen out of line of sight of him if he's kind of peeking the corner of that truck there. Yes, and we're so, also just going to be on this point here. Cool, cool. So yeah, we're, we're pretty sure at this point I won't be able to pull Gwen anywhere that would be out of range or line of sight, so. Yeah. So this is going to be a seven die physical into Gwen. Yep, and she's going to have three dice with uh, cover and a reroll. And I've got wild count as double. Alrighty. That well, that's bad. only one. Uh, I'm blocking one. Cover will make that two, and then the reroll will maybe make it three. Yeah. You'd still I... get one by converting because of the pierce. I don't actually have a pierce. On you this. would. Oh, this doesn't have a pierce, my bad. No. So right now I'm blocking two. You could convert and get one damage. So I don't think I'm going to. Yep. Instead, I'm going to... Uh, it didn't deal damage, though, so I don't get to throw you, so I just no. place beside you. Alrighty. Up this top. is bad. That's, uh, yeah, that worked out for me. Yeah. Uh, we need to do the Builder. Cool. And deal. I will have uh, three dice with the reduction on this. Uh, actually... No, I can't. I can't pull her anymore because you're, you're yeah. uh, backstopping pretty much anything. So, so yeah. yeah, five die. That wow. was not what I needed. I'm blocking one. I will reroll in case you want to do your thing. I'm gonna pay one to make uh, that new wild with the pierce. So I will still take one, and I will be bleeding. That is not what I needed Wolverine to do. That was definitely a. He, he was very, very front loaded, turn. this Wolverine. Yeah, on his on, on his front side, he did a lot of work. Oh, I mean, for what it was worth here, too, he's on his flip right now, which mm -hmm. means he's on his flip. Or no, he's not on his no, flip he yet. Never got I haven't actually taken him down. Yeah. I was thinking I did. Because I was going to say, you wouldn't even be able to pick up the cubes, but no, yep. you would have. Uh, so he is going to be healing factor one and bleeding at the end of that activation. Yep. And really putting the pressure on the rest of my team. Yeah. Alrighty. What do I want? So I think it's Gwen, because she's the only one I think you can realistically get to with Captain Marvel. Um, so I think I just want Gwen to kind of get to as much safety as possible here. But maybe do some damage on her way out. Because mm -hmm. um, she does have a core. So we will do... Let's see. Gwen's going to go ahead. She's going to pay three to drop her spender on Logan. I don't really care much about the throw in this case. I'm just really looking to do more dice and maybe just drop him yeah. because I mean it doesn't really matter at this point but I'm gonna do it anyways and we're gonna get three I'm gonna block one and go down cool uh no no I blocked one I took two ah right, so down. he's alive on one he's alive on one cool which um, is unfortunately now out of exceptional territory I could throw him it would only be a small throw and the only thing I could throw him at would be my own guys which is not something I want to play with right now. Uh, you don't so want to throw a size 3 Wolverine? We I will think. throw him, but not at anyone. We're just going to throw him in between here, okay. onto the ground. Uh, and then our second action, as much as I would love to finish him off, I think the better play here is just to kind of run away. Yeah. Um, we're just going to run pretty much as far to the edge of the board as we can. Obviously, that's off the camera. But, um, yeah, Gwen is, uh, Gwen is hanging out. Um, she's She's done her job, yep. um, and that will be it for her. Who would you like to go with next? All Great. right. 
So this game has gone a little, shall we say, pear-shaped. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, but I can try and at least pull a moral victory. We're going to be spending four on Steve for a Brooklyn Brawler. So this is going to be a seven die because he's size two. Yep. Uh, into Agent Venom. And your Venom's going to have four because this is physical. Um, All right. Three, not terrible. Three okay. currently. I'm blocking one. I'm going to have a reroll in here. Uh, uh, that is a crit because that was a shield. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to give me uh, two blocks. I'll take one. Uh, that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to do a shield bounce into you. Cool. Cool. This will spike. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Steve three. Please. Okay. Two. No. We'll spend a power and make it three. I'm going to block two and reroll. No. Uh, so I take one more. You take one. Woo. That's, that's something. Alrighty. <laughs> there's really not much I can do from here on. I don't think there's much else. So um, I'll go for moral victory and kill Steve. Because <laughs> <laughs> that seems fun. Yeah. Uh, so Agent Venom, he's already on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just spent a bunch of his power. So we might as well start with the spender attack. Yep. So this is a seven dice uh, beam for what it's worth. You're gonna hit the car. <laughs> um, Dead the paint. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw this seven dicer at you and see what happens. It is physical, and just three. Uh, block and two. So you only take one, which is the worst of all worlds, because now you can perfect block. Now I can perfect block. No. All right. Uh, we're gonna try. Okay, let me check. I am within two of a bodega. We're gonna spend three power and toss a bodega at your face. All right. Size like, three. Considering it doesn't affect my dodge. So I will block three and take one. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, we've He's tried on one. <laughs> we've tried most of our options. We're gonna do a final Clintar firepower five dice. Physical. We're gonna be spending for perfect block. Uh, five. I'm still getting three so far, so it's doable. Just three. Blocking two. Oh. Two. We did it. Steve goes down. Steve goes drops down. Drops the cube. And you pick um, up the cube. Yeah. I get to be sad. I think, uh, yeah, because I would have gained one for that, so yep. I do. Um, I think at that point, if you want to just kind of call it, because these two, we've decided, are not going to impact no. this side of the board. There's no way with Gamora being slowed and with Captain Marvel simply being so far from yeah. everyone else, even with her charge and her transform giving her a little bit of extra movement. Not so the best I'm going to do is Captain Marvel picks up those two cubes and stays where she is. Yep. Gamora One of your characters be... does something over there. Maybe even yeah. kills Wolverine. Wolverine will die and Miles will stand back on the point because, like, that is how this goes. Yep. Um, and she... And then, yeah, Gamora... Throws herself over here. She could just shake the stun and... Or the, sh the slow and... Maybe... Finally, the slow is gone. <laughs> Look at her go. With one move. Woo! Yeah. And she missed that. That slow was actually really big on her. That, that, that came up a lot. Um, and then yeah, over here, like there's there's nothing else to do. Um, so that's that's gonna be the game here. Um, I'm gonna be scoring uh, three cubes and two formulas at the end of the day, um, putting me well above the 16. And you would score four final points, um, bringing you up to 12. So not not super far behind. But unfortunately, you just kind of ran out of things to punch on this side of the board. Yeah. I was able to get Gwen to come over to this side and was just like. You can have Spider Woman. She's scored. Spider Woman scored me so many points this game because she interrogated twice. Yep. Um, I really but... needed Steve to come over towards the middle so that he could battle plan and help out. Uh, yeah. Um, Gamora. But now, he... That's the one kind of problem with battle plan is the proximity to Steve, especially on a map like this where we're playing B, so we have kind of two flanks. But yeah. if I hit the side that doesn't have him, I really wasn't expecting the all webbed up over on that side. Honestly, neither was I. It was a very last minute decision. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no. And then the freaking building, I mean, the buildings were obnoxious for both of us because it meant I couldn't do any of the turn one stuff I wanted to do with no, Gwen. really turned off but Steve. But over here, you you definitely felt the, the, the Steve not having, uh, ignoring line of sight like the yeah. old one does. That was, that was rough. He didn't have really any way of getting around that. And of course, with webs, I was able to kind of manipulate that a little more with the web swings and stuff like that um but yeah steve steve had a bad game <laughs> steve had a rough outing wolverine aside from that last turn did fantastic he started game, off 
really strong, and I was start, he started to make up for Steve not doing as much. Yeah. And then started to fall flat after that. Yeah, he did just kind of fall apart. Uh, similarly for Carol, she had, I think, one really good turn and then one really bad turn. Oh, that binary turn did yeah. nothing. That, that turn of doing nothing in binary sucked. Um, and then, of course, Gamora we already talked about, but she was doing pretty hot until she got conditioned to bits and put out of place. Yep. Um, and as Gamora tends to, she also just took a lot of damage. Maybe a little more than she should have from Gwen at the end, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, the even, even on her front side, she wasn't hard to take down. Um, so, so that was a thing, but she yeah. did have a good turn in there. She did. I, I mean, that one attack where you, you one shot Gwen from full health was, yeah. was very relevant or, or almost full because she had a cube. And but tying up that back point round one saying was a big we're, we're scoring the same round one felt good. Yeah. And then you were able to hold that into round two. Um, and actually into round three, I think I only scored one more than you because of interrogate. Um, yeah, if I'm remembering the rounds correctly, I think I that may have been round up. three where you scored up on me from interrogate. That yeah, that's what I'm thinking yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so you were able to keep it close the entire game, which against webs is relatively impressive. Um, so, but then my attacks started not doing what they needed to. Yeah, then unfortunately between Carol kind of whipping a couple there, and then of course uh, Wolverine at the very end failing as well, um, and Steve just kind of being. Steve, Steve, Steve did did Steve trying to attack things. Yep. Um, unfortunately, kind of one of the reasons why I still prefer the old Steve over the new one is the old one's not trying to attack, and so because of that, his five dice shield will occasionally do seven damage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think Steve three is missing one or two lines of text. I think so as well. I think there's no harm in giving the shield throw uh, the ignoring cover in line of sight. I mm -hmm. think that was a dumb thing to take away and is a really nice little kind of niche thing that he can fill. Um, so that's unfortunate that he that he's lost that. But then also, yeah, I think he just needs something else somewhere on his card. His leadership is fantastic, though, and, and this was a good display of that because oh, both yes. Gamora and Wolverine popped off with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think so... it puts him in the same niche as the original Steve, but why doesn't he have bodyguard? <laughs> Yeah, so that's the one thing is if he had bodyguard, I think there becomes an argument that he's just better than the original that's Steve. Because I would have um, felt no problem whatsoever moving him up the board to hang out with Gamora mm -hmm. if he was also there to take hits for her. Yep, no, that makes sense. Um, yeah, he's he's kind of in an awkward place, but his leadership is crazy fun, so yep. I guess that makes up for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I... This was one of the first games in a while where webs felt like they were all doing what they were supposed to do, so that was nice. Oh, I yeah. My defensive rerolls actually mattered, which was amazing. Uh, I have a really bad track record with those, so that was that was good. But um, yeah, no, everyone on the webs team did either what they needed to do or well above it in the cases of models <laughs> like Gwen doing five damage. Oh my goodness. Even Miles right out of the gate getting, what, three or four damage and a throw on, on Steve yeah. was really, really good. So I had a few, I had a few crazy spikes like that. Um, Spider Woman had a whiff, but then one shot Captain Marvel from well five health remaining, but still. Um, so there was a few of those going around, but um, yeah, no, that was a that was a good game overall. I um, I should play webs more often. They are fun. They are um, very fun. They hurt my brain sometimes, but they're very fun. They can also definitely do that. But I think that is going to do it for this battle report. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, yeah, that's about all I got. So until next time, everybody, have a great day. Peace.